Good morning, Mr. Jones. 8:30. Call the meeting to order. Commissioners, any addition, deletion, correction to the minutes? I didn't see it. All right. Seeing none, we'll move on to the CSA career of the group. Mr. Allen. Yes, good morning, sir. This is an agreement between CSX, CSX Railroad in Lowndes County in order to put a water main underneath uh, the railroad at Rockport Road. That's the deep bottom one, right? That's, That's correct. Yeah. Any questions? You're going to pour under that, or are you going to have to, have to remove the track? <laughs> yeah. They'll do a directional board underneath. Basically, we need to change the way we take animals in from owners um, due to the fact that we immediately evaluate the animals and some people have a change of heart. We've decided to have a 24-hour cooling off period. And in this cooling off period, we believe that the shelter should not function as a boarding facility. So we've developed um, an intake sheet that gives an arrival time and date. Um, if the people decide that they would like to turn their animal into the shelter um, and they want to follow that mandatory 24 hour period, they're to take the animal back to their house and think about it for the next 24 hours and bring the animal back to the shelter the next day. Um, if they do not want to use that 24 hours to think about um, turning their animal in, they can go ahead and sign the waiver. And when they do, they also um, <coughs> sign a notice that states that their animal will be immediately evaluated. Now, this doesn't always end in euthanasia, but in some instances, these animals have problems when they come into the shelter. They notice that they kill other animals, that they're destructive, that they're regressive to humans. And in these cases, they would be immediately evaluated. <coughs> and um, we've just decided that this would be the best route for us to go at this point. So this is more or less just a way to, to educate people who bring their animals in, educate them on your processes so that way you can, they can't come back and say, well, we didn't know you were going to euthanize so soon potentially, right? Mm -hmm. okay. I think that's fair. Commissioner of Refund and Protection Harris for the state error, I believe. Uh, yes, sir. The state, made, or, sorry, the state notified the tax commissioners recently that there was a change in the exemption for disabled veterans. Um, this happened about three years ago. And so the tax commissioner is asking for authorization to process those refunds. Um, for the three years, it's just under $29,000. for the rescue bumper. We received bids for equipment for a rescue bumper. The uh, bid was followed against the equipment, $34,903.40. Georgia Fire Rescue, $37,290.97. Fireline, $37,920. NAPCO, $41,711.16. Thermo Fisher, $42,511.15. Uh, this is, again, this is equipment for the new rescue bumper to satisfy the ISO requirements for that. Piece of back wraps. The low bidder uh, that met the bid specification was the municipal equipment. Did you satisfy the quality of the, the equipment from the low bidder? Yeah. <clears throat> so we buy you a truck and now you want equipment to go on? Sure. Okay. <laughs> Uh, 
on November 3rd, the animal shelter, along with the Humane Society, will host the first animal health fair here in Lowndes County. Um, it's hoped this is going to be an annual event, um, held the first Saturday in November. And the purpose is uh, to mirror the benefits that you see for people health fairs. I mean, you know, many times our employees uh, most recently were given the opportunity to go in and receive free health screenings, additional health information, um, you know, animal welfare feels that it's just as important for us to have this information available for our citizens regarding their animals. So there have been 1,300 invitations sent to um, all those who have adopted a pet from the shelter the past year. Our local media partners have been great in helping us begin to get the information out. The Humane Society is doing some additional advertising. We've got uh, great cooperation from local vets to come and provide screenings. There'll be adoptions available information on low cost bay and neuter, as well as a rabies clinic and a microchip clinic. So we'll have some additional information if anyone needs anything or would like to participate, please let me know. But this is on November the 3rd from 10 until 3 at the Civic Center uh, Building B. Nothing else? Nobody's there. Okay, the dinner.